What's going on, everybody? My name is Wolver Guy. Welcome. Uh, well, you guys already know that, but welcome back to another Friday weekly update. So today is going to be a double upload of Madden. Um, I played the subscriber about I think a week and a half ago, two weeks, and it's taken me forever to uh, just, I guess, um, edit this video. And I finally had the time last night. And finally got that done so that will be out later today after this video goes up um, as you can see I have a twist drop pack because uh, I loaded up the stream and they haven't done anything so hopefully I can pull something good out of that we're gonna get a 71 76 silver and a silver usually how these twitch packs fucking work for me but um, so team of the year is here. I don't know if I necessarily talked about it. I don't think I did a video last week about it. Um, but team of the year is here. Uh, Russell Wilson, Aaron Donald, as you guys can see. Um, I did get the new Kittle. And also I did the challenges and all that. They give you a free uh, card out of it. Or a free, I guess, team of the year card out of it. And I got a uh, kicker out of it, unfortunately. And then I did the set. And I got the left guard. We'll talk about my lineup and all that. Um, but I believe either now or later today, the Super Bowl stuff has came out. So there's tickets, there's pass, there's the MVP. Um, so weeks ago... If you did buy the bundle and you got the 99 overall MVP, um, I, I assume after the Super Bowl's done, you're going to be able to turn in that token. And then we have tickets here. So you can get a past Nat type hero or additional Super Bowl heroes coming soon. I wonder what that's going to be about. But uh, I guess next week, next Friday or something, I'll look into it. So you get four tickets. Um, you can get a, uh, your choice of a 95 overall. It's going to be Sony Michelle, Adam Zim Zimmerman, or Clay Matthews. Uh, I don't, none of those names sound really appealing to me. So those are the tickets. And then the past, apparently they're going to um, do this in threes here. They're going to, like this whole promo, they're going to like release one third of it. So I guess this is one third of it. And then they're going to do another one and then the final third of it so we'll see how uh, that goes but they have passed right now the steve young this should have came out a long time ago but the problem is for me to get the steve young now is a little bit pointless because it's patrick mahomes it's already a 96 so with the kevin street i'm literally buying this car just to get a 97 and then they have a random super bowl past hero exchange any 782 to 86 overalls that are Super Bowl pass players and 588 to 92 Super Bowl pass players and earn a random hero. So uh, you can do that as well. Um, I'm not really fond of, I guess, uh, this, this promo so far. Also, I do think I have, I think, well, I just talked about all the Team of the Year stuff. I think I saved some of the clips and all that. So if I do come across those, I'm going to play those right now. So if I don't, if I don't play them, you won't see anything. If I do play them, you'll obviously see some. So let's roll that if I do have that in the vault.
All right, so either I've, I played that or not. Ooh, the Weekly Elite Fantasy Pack. It's not Antonio Brown anymore. It is actually Patrick Mahomes. So I do like that they updated that uh, because Antonio, speaking of Antonio Brown, he just uh, turned himself in for, uh, he got arrested for battery and uh, robbery or something stupid like that. He's a clown. But we got this pack. Hopefully I can pull something solid out of it. We're going to get an 83 Preston Smith. This man doesn't even have a power up, so I feel like this card's not even going to go for anything. Oh, that's not. That's an, also an 83. Come on, at least give me an 85 platinum here. An 84 Christian McCaffrey. You know what? We're going to take that because at this point, the coins is what we're going to go for. And that's going to give us 80 grand in coins. Thank you. My, okay. You know, I have never pulled. I didn't even know he had a quick sell, to be honest. And I pulled that. that that's not bad at all. So that almost puts me back to 200k. Um, I really went flat boy uh, busted uh, for a couple reasons. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but when you guys see the other video, you'll see why. Um, and then uh, trying to get some new stuff on my team. Also, so pretty much that's going to do it for the sets. And there's not a whole lot of stuff going with this promo. Uh, we do have challenges. So after we get 28 stars, we get a ticket. And uh, let's see how many challenges there are. So there, are, you can get 76 stars on this. That's gonna hopefully that this, this doesn't take too long. I guess we'll uh, figure it out as we go. But we have a lot of different scenario ones right here. So we do have Super Bowl challenges. So that that's cool and all. They did take away the play, uh, or they still have the playoff stuff. I got I I finished all of that. Um, team of the year stuff. I'm not finishing that because the tr the tier is like you're gonna get five grand for doing these long challenges, and I don't I don't need the five grand right now. So that'll really do that will pretty much do it for the solo challenges. For the solo battles, I am actually caught up, so I can actually show you guys who were the last ones. I've taken one L this week because literally I had the lead against this uh, Ravens team and. Uh, he threw a Hail Mary, and it got swatted, and an another one of the receivers caught it, and they went in for a touchdown. So I was very, very pissed about that. So we're going to update it, and we're going to have an 87, a 72, an 88, and a 76. So that's pretty solid. Um, I don't see me losing any more challenges to this. So I'm almost at 200K, and I have to get, I think, I'm going to have to at least play three of these, I feel like. Unless I can really just run the ball and get a shit ton of passing uh, or just like a bunch of passing attempts and completion completions. Uh, I think I might have to just do two of them, but I believe I'm going to have to at least do three of those uh, just to get to the legend tier that I always need to get. So that will do it for solo battles and uh, not really anything new. Obviously, you guys can see limited time signature players are in the store right now now um i did have a subscriber ask me what are the best corners to go with in this game um well depending on how much change you got to work with here and if you're starting out new and you just have like a bunch of training uh power-ups would probably be the way to go but we're gonna go, let's say, we're gonna go with like 90 overalls at this point. Uh, so my opinion is, well, I just, I guess I just came out with a Robert Alford. Um, that card is kind of garbage. We're not gonna go with that. So I know this Kenny Moore is pretty, it, it's meh, it's okay. Uh, it's not super great. Um, I would definitely go with Legends. Stay away from flashbacks. Stay away. Stay away from uh, anything that is veterans, because those cards are awful. Um, Team of the week is okay. Um, you know, looking for anything like that. So necessarily, let's go with power ups and say, well, I don't have the ch change to do that. I have a little bit of training that I can get myself a high 80 some. So let's go with a po like power up corners and see what. So Jason McCordy. Okay, not great. Kyle Fuller is okay. Willie Brown would probably be a solid 
pick uh, if you can power him up to his Legends card or whatever. Um, Xavier Howard, now nah, I would not go with him. William Jackson, definitely not. Don't go with Aqib Tlaib. AJ Boye, okay. Uh, Patrick Certain, that's uh, that's a legend right there. He's not bad. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore is okay. He he's actually a pretty solid corner, so I would say yes. Uh, Byron Jones finally has a uh, he has a power up, but I don't believe I can. I don't think I can use his card to um, put or like I have his journey journey card i don't know if i can put this in here to get uh the like upgrades because i wanted to put sprinter on them and all that um it's looking like oh i can actually do that so i can get them technically to a 92 maybe a 93 um so you can see 90 uh just about 90 speed if you do have the sprinter on him and then zone coverage 93 and the man is 87 so not great not great man coverage but i'm actually just going to keep this in the vault for later when they get enough training and uh yeah that, that i mean I, I he's a he's a solid card also uh also doing the gauntlet i did pull uh xavier R R R R yeah xavier Rhodes out of it and that is a very very solid corner as well desmond trufant not great i wouldn't go with him rob woodson he's pretty solid darius slay eh. Uh, Chris Harris, not so great in my opinion. Nicole Rowley Coleman, not so great. Definitely go with Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders is a must, so if you can power him up, powering him up, he's pretty good. Patrick Peterson, um, he's okay. I mean, he's not like, I wouldn't say he's an A-class corner, but I would say he's B-class of his stats right now. But you can also do, you can also use him as a kick returner as well. So uh, he's pretty solid. He'll have definitely good speed. Uh, Casey Hayward, if you do have his team of the year, I would power him up. But other than that, I wouldn't go get him, to be honest. And other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot of really good corners. They do have Charles Tillman. I don't know the speed on, or I don't know the stats on that. So I would assume he's good. I don't know. Uh, Richard Sherman, stay away from Richard Sherman because he is very slow and awful in this game. Champ Bailey would be a good pickup. Um, if you decide to go do his set for the playoffs, that's pretty good. Um, Jason Sahorn, I don't know if he's good or not. I don't know his stats. Uh, other than that, Jalen Ramsey is pretty good. Stephen Gilmore, pretty good as well. Uh, Tredavious White just came out with a card. That's solid. Um, Nitrain Lane, that's not bad at all as well night train lanes always pretty good other than that um those are pretty much the corners so you guys can see what is good and what is bad in my opinion and i don't know a whole lot coming to madden but it all all comes down to stats so um also if you're looking into a certain player look what their like core leads or their other cards you're going to need if you're going to power them up and see what those stats are before you buy the power up and spend money on that so that will pretty much do that's my take on corners other than that we're gonna move on to my or i guess my lineup here and we're gonna call for the video this video will go up first and then uh me playing the subscriber will go up later today as well so double upload so patrick rocking with patrick mahomes obviously 96 overall with chemistry love this card um haven't changed anything at corner or uh, at cornerback at halfback or fullback uh terry mclaurin still tyree kill and tory Holt. i'm really thinking of getting rid of this tyree kill and eventually just saving up enough money and get my grandy moss or somebody i don't know uh, i did get this jordan gross fully powered up it's pretty solid also i have the joe patino this card is really good very very good when it comes to good pass block and good run block i got my kevin moine in 93 uh to get him fully upgraded i cannot find his card his card's been an auction for like a million coins i don't have a million coins I believe the next thing I do want to upgrade is getting a better right guard, and I don't know who I want to pursue as a new right guard. So I do have George Kittle, he's fully upgraded, 97 overall, and then we have TJ Hawkinson, and then I haven't upgraded Travis, Kel or Travis Kelsey yet, which I probably should, Just I just haven't had the training for it. 
Um, and then on defense, everything is pretty much still the same. Xavier Rhodes that I was talking about. I have Marshall Lattimore that I've had for a while. Ty Law, Nick Bosa is still there. Alan Page is here still. John Randall, JJ Watt. And then I did get the Deion Sou Sour. I just said Deion Sowers. What the fuck is wrong with me? Deion Sanders. This is the NFL 100. 96 overall. Love this guy. Great punt returner. Um, not the best corner as in, you know, tackling and all that. I mean, he's going to be a, like, he's going to catch the ball more or less. But uh, pretty solid. Always, Deion Sanders is always a must in uh, Madden anymore. And then just have Byron Jones uh, sitting on the back burners as well um and on special teams i did get that zing Gon gonzalez that i talked about and i did get a uh, ability on him that his kicking meter slows down a little bit because when you play all madden i miss a lot of kicks and uh, i'm like you know what i'm just gonna drop 1500 training boom there we go and then i haven't really changed anything on kick returners or punt returners so everything the same so a little bit a little bit of adjustments on my team but nothing super crazy so other than that that's gonna do it for uh today's video hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed the other video that's coming out later today and uh with that being said hope you guys enjoy your friday hope you guys enjoy your weekend i will see you guys in the next video whatever that is that'll probably be another friday weekly update video or something like that but uh yeah guys with that being said take care see you later <laughs>